the Beverly's our flagship hotel. Furthermore, I wasn't consulted. The answer is no. Gwen, you know, I appreciate your honesty on the subject, but before we get all dewy-eyed with nostalgia, we should consider the bottom line here. Dewy-eyed with nostalgia? I apologize for interrupting. I realize you're all very busy. Uh, truth be told, I have found that sitting at home and mourning the loss of my child is... Well, it's only made me feel worse. I suppose the wound is still too fresh. I have a request. I would very much like to come back and work for Dress 2K. Of course, this would all be contingent on Samantha's approval. And if you found this unacceptable in any way, I would be more than willing to work for you. But the operative word is work because I am so desperate. I feel if I don't, I, I will truly go out of my mind. I'm sure I speak for the rest of the family when I say, welcome back. Thank you, Jack. No, Jack. I think if you took a silent poll, you'd find that you don't speak for the rest of the family. I agree with Peter. Since when do we let emotions dictate strategy? Samantha Sanchez has been scoring big time at the helm of Dress 2K, so why bring aboard a second fourth-rate tugboat when the first is perfectly capable of pulling the load? Peter. You are so incredibly callous. The woman just lost her child. She stays. I didn't get a chance to wish you happy birthday. Nah, well, wish hard, pal, because I'm finding the older I get, the less joy there is in mud gel. A thousand times, how you wish it. We're one big happy family, aren't we? Even on our birthdays. Hello. Hi, Jack. Hey. What are you doing with that martini glass? This, mm -hmm. Mr. Williams? Yeah. I stole it. You what? I stole it to see what it's like to feel sophisticated. I hope it's all right. I mean, you're not going to lose your liquor license, are you? Folks, this little wench is lying through her pretty white teeth. It was uh, my idea, my martini. I just wanted to get back at you, Uncle Jack, pay you back for all those nasty, horrible things you said to me in the boardroom. You used to be such a nice boy. Really, Mr. Williams, it wasn't necessary for you to lie on my behalf. Cut the crap, honey. What do you think I am, Mrs. Cleaver? You owe me one. Hey, Faith, let's dance. It's all the makings to become the next Heather Lane. Really? I think she reminds me more of you. <laughs> Heather's trying to manipulate us, Jack. Asking for work is manipulation. Work or it's destruction. Everything I do is in the best interest of this family, Peter, at all times. Okay. So how is the demotion of Samantha in the best interest of this family? Is that why you summoned me here, Peter? No one ever said anything about a demotion. Actually, Samantha, it was my decision that you and Heather share the reins at Dress 2K. What? Oh, you don't understand? Well, let me translate for you. In a matter of weeks, you, the overqualified, will be taking orders from Heather, the oversexed. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Let's look at her track record. One majorly dysfunctional wedlock, one edipally mucked up brother, one patriarch who dies during intercourse, and now the miscarriage of a child that no one wanted in the first place. Nephew, you are very close to getting thrown out of here on your proverbial ass, boy. Jack, are you threatening to fire me? <laughs> Go ahead, try your luck. But beware of one thing. You'll be igniting a scandal-slash-lawsuit combo platter the likes of which this town has never, and I mean never, seen before. Peter, are you crazy? Look, you're scaring me. Where are you going? You want to know? You really want to know? All right, I'll take you there.
Joey, what is this? That should be my life down there, Sam. My house, my wife, my child. Is this where you go when you disappear? You spy on a family? Well, not some family. <laughs> Maureen's family. She and I met when we were 19. We were working summer jobs on a ranch in Utah. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but um, we fell in love. She was amazing, Samantha. Beautiful in a simple kind of way. I kept it secret. Till that fall, I introduced her to my father. Big mistake. It was clear he didn't approve. He said I was too young and too irresponsible to be married. Don't tell me he threatened to disinherit you. My options were the noble road to nowhere or the family business. I chose the money. I broke her heart and mine. Of course, Maureen got her dream eventually. The house, the husband, the family. You know, the simple life. No strife, no complications. Just simple. I'm sorry, Peter. I... I had no idea. No one does. I put up a shield to hide it from everyone. You see, that's why I'm so angry all the time. That's why I'm so unable to open up to people. I don't believe there's ever going to be a woman who's ever going to be able to see the good in me. As tried as it may sound, I'm afraid of getting hurt. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I see the good. Thank you for being such a good listener. Next time I visit the bluff, I won't feel so all alone. <laughs> good night. I have a feeling you won't be needing to visit the bluff anymore. <laughs> I ask but one thing. What? Be gentle? No. Leave the tie on. <laughs> A rose by any other name. Breakfast in bed. <clears throat> Peter, you'll spoil me. I like spoiling people. <laughs> Grape trick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what? Bad grape? I just want to make sure that you're all right with keeping this our secret. No, I want my family interfering in my personal life. <laughs> <laughs> I meant if Heather would ever find out. Hey, trust me. I know she's already making moves against you and dressed to Kay. I don't want to give her any more ammo. Oh, my God, it's 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah, um, I turned off your alarm clock. Peter! Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, game plan. Um, you go in first, and then I'll saunter in just after. <laughs> You're not going anywhere unless I say so. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Marmalade. Mmm. Vitamin C. Mm. <laughs> Niacin. Good for strong bones. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Grape jelly. It's good for the heart. Mm -hmm. You know what else is good for the heart? 